today we are going to conduct the open circuit characteristics and short circuit characteristics of a synchronous generator and uh, this is the circuit diagram for uh, uh, today's experiment uh, if you observe this circuit and uh, this part uh, this part is a uh, dc shunt uh, motor part if we want to measure the dc supply voltage here we can connect uh, uh, voltmeter across this uh, supply voltage and we can connect uh, ammeter moving coil type ammeter in series with the field winding for measuring the field winding current and here we can connect one ammeter moving coil type ammeter in series with the ammeter for measuring the armature current of DC shunt motor. Rotor of alternator and DC shunt motor shaft both are mechanically coupled. Rotor of alternator we have a field winding that field winding is represented here and this field winding uh, is excited with the dc supply and we are going to take this uh, dc supply from the auto transformer through a uh, bridge rectifier and uh, we are going to vary this uh, field current by varying the single phase variac and uh, stator terminals of alternator is connected uh, uh, one voltmeter is connected across the two terminals of the any two terminals of the alternator for measuring the induced EMF. Now we can see the uh, synchronous generator. We have two types of synchronous generators. Uh, one is salient pole synchronous generator. Second one is a cylindrical rotor synchronous generator. Now we can see the salient pole synchronous generator. And here how we can differentiate whether it is salient pole or uh, cylindrical rotor synchronous generator. If we observe the stator part means it is a stationary part here and uh, this is stationary part and this is a, a rotating part. If we move this it will be rotated. It will be rotated. The air gap between the stator and the rotor is uh, non-uniform. So uh, uh, because of this uh, salient poles so it is called salient pole synchronous generator and uh, we are going to give the DC supply here if we observe these two terminals we are going to give the DC supply to the uh, field winding which is placed on the rotor of uh, synchronous generator so that we can exit the uh, field winding with the DC supply for uh, rotating this uh, prime mover we are going to use the DC shunt motor and if you observe this DC shunt motor shaft DC shunt motor shaft and alternator rotor rotor part both are mechanically coupled here by using this speed sensor we can measure the prime mover speed of alternator now we can see the nameplate details of uh, uh, synchronous salient pulse synchronous generator it is having a 5k 5 m 5 kva rating uh, rated uh, current is of 6.9 amperes and uh, number of phases are three phases and uh, rpm is 1500 rpm Vol rated voltage is 415 volts and rated frequency is 50 hz this is the nameplate details of uh, dc shunt motor 5.2 kilowatt 1500 rpm 220 volts DC supply and uh, rated ampere is 26 uh, amperes. Okay. Earlier we have seen the circuit diagram. Uh, by using the circuit diagram we have connected this uh, uh, actual circuit. We have taken and we have connected this DC shunt motor connections. And uh, this is the field winding of alternator. And uh, this DC supply is given to the field winding of uh, synchronous generator as we know emf induced across the stator winding terminals of an alternator is directly proportional to the prime over speed and uh, current through the field winding if the prime over speed is a uh, constant then emf is directly proportional to the field winding current and it is valid up to the saturation point after saturation uh, EMF increases non-linearly with the field winding current. You know how to give the connections to DC shunt motor. 
this part you know uh, in electrical machines one you have already uh, performed the uh, experiment uh, of dc shunt motor and uh, this field winding is excited with the dc supply for giving that dc supply uh, we are going to use the auto transformer here auto transformer is input is given to the fixed supply 230 volts 50 h yes uh, bridge tech rectifier input terminals are connected to the auto transformer output terminals and uh, bridge rectifier output terminals are uh, connected to the field winding through one ammeter moving coil type 0 to 20 amperes moving coil type ammeter okay. after exiting the prime mover with a constant speed and uh, after giving the field current to the field winding we can see the emf will be induced in the stator winding terminals of uh, alternator uh, for that we need to connect one uh, voltmeter 0 to 600 volts moving iron type voltmeter uh, we are going to uh, connect that we can see here here we are going to take the these are the alternate stator winding terminals u v w or we can say r y z and across two terminals we are going to connect the voltmeter these three terminals are uh, open circuit by connecting the 0 to 600 volts moving iron type voltmeter across any two winding terminals of uh, stator winding terminals of an alternator we can measure the line to line voltage of an alternator now we are going to connect the open circuit characteristics of a synchronous generator or alternator now we have switched on the uh, mcb and we can see the voltage across the dc supply is uh, we can see 220 volts and uh, now we are going to first switch uh, start the dc shunt motor by using the three point starter Now we can see the speed of the prime mover is 1448 rpm. By adjusting the external field winding re resistance of uh, DC shunt motor, we can bring the prime mover speed to 1500 rpm. Now we can see that 1500 rpm. Now we are going to set the field current to 3 amps by adjusting the auto transformer uh, output and then uh, voltage across the stator winding terminals corresponding to 3 amps field current is uh, 151 volt. Now by adjusting the uh, single phase variac we, we can set the field winding current to 4.4 4 amperes and corresponding uh, stator winding terminals voltage is uh, 219 volts again by varying the single phase variac we can we have set the field winding current to the alternator is uh, 5.4 amperes and corresponding voltage induced across the stator winding terminals is 270 volts now we are going to set the field winding current to the alternator uh, to 
वन एम्पियर्स एट दिस कंडीशन स्पीड ऑफ द अल्टरनेटर इज गेटिंग रेड्यूस्ड सो वी आर गोइंग टू इंक सेट दि फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड आर पी एम बाय अडजस्टिंग दि एक्सटर्नल फील्ड वाइनिंग रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ द डी सी शंट मोटर एंड देन वोल्टेज इंड्यूस्ड अक्रॉस दि स्टेट वाइनिंग टर्मिनल्स इज थ्री फार्टी थ्री वोल्स now we are going to set the field winding current to 8 amperes by adjusting the single phase variac now if we see the speed of the uh, prime mover is 1498 rpm by adjusting the field winding resistance of dc shunt motor we can set the prime mover speed to 1500 rpm and uh, corresponding Uh, voltage induced across the stator winding terminals is 371 volt we can note down this value again we have adjusted the field winding current to the alternator is a uh, 9.4 amperes for this field current voltage induced across the stator winding terminals is uh, 402 volts now we have adjusted the field winding current to the alternator is a uh, 10.6 amperes corresponding uh, emf induced across the stator winding terminals is uh, 422 volts now we have set the field winding current to the alternator uh, is of 12.2 amperes and corresponding uh, voltage induced across the stator winding terminals is uh, 438 volts again we have increased the field winding current to the alternator is 14.5 amperes at this condition prime mover speed is 1500 rpm and emf induced across the stator winding terminals is 457 volts again we have adjusted the field winding current to the alternator is 15.2 amperes at this for this field winding current Uh, speed of the prime mover is uh, increased more than 1500 rpm so by adjusting the external field winding resistance we have adjusted the prime mover speed to 1500 rpm now we can take the voltage induced across the stator winding terminals is uh, 462 volts again we have uh, increased the field winding current to the alternator is uh, 15.9 amperes for this field current voltage induced across the stator winding terminals is 464 volts now we have increased the uh, field winding current to the alternator is 16.8 amperes and uh, and we can see the speed is 1500 rpm uh, now we can take the voltage induced across the stator winding terminals is uh, volts 470 volts again we have increased the field winding current to the alternator is a 18.1 amperes now we can see the speed is 1500 rpm and the voltage induced across the stator winding terminals is 480 volts again we have increased the field winding current to the alternator is a 18.9 amperes and now we can see the speed is 1500 rpm and uh, voltage induced across the uh, stator winding terminals is 484 volts again we have increased the field winding current to the uh, alternator is uh, 19.6 amperes for this field current prime mover speed is getting reduced by adjusting the external field winding resistance of uh, uh, dc shunt motor we can uh, set the prime mover speed to 1500 rpm now uh, after setting the prime mover speed to 1500 rpm we can take the voltage induced across the stator winding terminals is uh, 486 volts again we have increased the field winding current to the alternator is 20.4 amperes for this field winding current field current the prime mover speed is increasing more than 1500 rpm 1515 rpm we can see 
by adjusting the external field winding resistance of DC shunt motor, we can uh, adjust the prime over speed to 1500 rpm. Now we set the prime over speed to 1500 rpm. At this condition, voltage induced across the stator winding terminals is uh, 492 volts. Now we are going to reduce the auto transformer output voltage to 0 volts and then we are going to switch off the DC supply. For determining the open circuit characteristics of a synchronous generator, we have varied the field winding current by adjusting the single phase variac and then we have kept the alternator primer speed is kept constant by adjusting the external field winding resistance and then we have note down the line to line voltage of uh, uh, stator winding terminals of alternator in this way we have done we can vary the field winding current uh, till the voltage induced across the stator winding terminals uh, reaches 120% of the rated line to line voltage that is 415 into 1.2 it will be 498 volts we have done that part now we are going to determine the short circuit characteristics of a synchronous generator for that what we have to do is a circuit is the same except that this r y b should be started these three terminals should be started by adjusting the current through the field winding we have to note down the short circuit current by maintaining the prime over speed is kept constant we can increase the field current until it reaches the uh, short circuit current to 120 percent of the rated value that is a uh, 6.9 into 1.2 it will be 8.3 amperes up to 8.3 amperes of short circuit current we can adjust the field winding current now we have connected the actual circuit by using the circuit diagram uh, now now we have to uh, we have to determine the short circuit characteristics of a uh, synchronous generator for that we have shorted this uh, u V W terminals and we have connected one ammeter uh, through this short circuit short circuit terminals uh, first we have to run the DC first we have to switch on the MCB then we have to run the uh, DC shunt motor by using the three point starter
Here we have written the observation values from the open circuit characteristics of a synchronous generator experiment. On first column we have taken uh, field current in amperes. In second column we have taken the line voltage in volts. In third column we have determined the per phase voltages that is equal to line voltage divided by root 3. Then we will get uh, per phase voltages. Here we have uh, read, uh, we have drawn plot. On x-axis we have taken the field current in amperes. On y-axis we have taken the stator per phase voltages in volts. If we observe this uh, characteristics, 
from this point to here saturation point it is increasing uh, stator open circuit voltage is increasing uh, linearly with respect to the field current after that stator per phase voltage is increasing non linearly with respect to the field current here we have written we have uh, we have uh, we have written observation values from the short circuit characteristics of a synchronous generator experiment in first column we have taken field current in second column we have taken the uh, line current short circuit uh, per per phase uh, short circuit line current uh, in third column we have taken the per phase short uh, per phase short circuit current for a star connection phase current is equal to line current on x axis we have taken the field current in amperes on y axis we have taken the stator uh, short circuit per phase current if you observe this uh, characteristics it is uh, increasing linearly St stator short circuit current is increasing linearly with respect to the field current in this we have merged the both the open circuit characteristics and uh, short circuit characteristics on x axis we have taken field current on one y axis we have taken the open circuit uh, stator per phase voltage on another y axis we have taken the per phase short circuit current in amperes from this graph we can uh, we have written these values here we have on first uh, column we have taken the uh, field current in amperes in second column we have taken the per phase open circuit voltage per phase st uh, stator per phase open circuit voltage in third column we have taken the per phase short circuit current uh, by using these values we can find the synchronous impedance that is equal to open circuit stator per phase voltage divided by stator short circuit per phase current will give the synchronous impedance per phase and uh, we have measured the resistance per phase by using the ammeter voltmeter method that is equal to 1.25 ohms by using uh, synchronous impedance and uh, armature resistance per phase we can uh, ca we can determine the synchronous reactance per phase that is equal to square root of impedance square minus resistance armature uh, resistance square we have taken per phase values here if we observe these values if we field current increases from 1 ampere to 7 ampere synchronous impedance is increasing linearly from 9 amperes to 18 amperes per phase synchronous per phase synchronous uh, uh, impedance decreasing similarly for reactance also from 1 ampere to 7 ampere field current synchronous reactance is uh, increasing linearly after that it is decreasing